Welcome back to The Possibility Storm. I'm your host, Lane, and I'm back for, from a much-needed break. This video was recorded a few weeks ago and features Lord of the Rings commanders built to a CDH level. We had a very cool stream with a ton of action, but this game shows off the power of the new card Orcish Bowmasters, so I wanted to get it out there for your viewing pleasure. I'm joined by my regulars Kirk, Squee, and Mike to show off some fresh builds you might like to bring to your next game night. I hope you enjoy. Before we get to the gameplay, I'd like to make a couple of announcements. First of all, I've revamped my Patreon and have added some tiers as well. For as little as $1, you can show your support for the channel, the podcast, and stream, basically everything that I do for your entertainment. I've also added some physical merch to various tiers, and the ability for patrons to make requests as far as what decks I play on stream or discussions we have on the podcast. Another added benefit is to join me in a one-on-one -on -one session to either brew up a new deck or improve an existing one on a monthly basis. So head over to patreon.com slash the possibility storm to check out if you're interested in these perks. Next, I'm changing my streaming day and as a result my release day for new content. Over the course of the past couple years, I've found that many times my stream is competing with other bigger streamers or with IRL events, and I want to give more people the opportunity to hang out and chat while we jam some games. So instead of Saturdays at 1pm Pacific, I'm moving over to Thursdays at 5pm Pacific, which should mean most people are out of work. It's also my day off, so I can justify the later start time. This means I'll likely start releasing new episodes of the show on Wednesdays, which still gives me the same amount of time to edit and post as my old schedule. We'll be kicking off this new schedule this Thursday, July 13th, with a marathon stream of CPDH with new and old members of the community to help people learn how to play this awesome format. The stream starts at 12 p.m. Pacific and will be running until 9 p.m. or whenever the last game ends. Hope to see you all there. I'm not going to bother with deck decks for this video, I'm going to let the gameplay speak for itself. So let's get to it. Drop sure. We'll shock in a blood crypt. We'll tap that and play a mana bolt, and we'll pass the turn. Uh, Pluto Delta, am I good to search for an underground sea? Yes. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, Gitaxian Probe, uh, let's see, cards in hand is lane. Six. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Kirk. I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna drag him up onto the screen if you guys look away, sure. cool. Cool, I got that. Uh-huh, that's That. Good. That. Yikes. That. Okay. That. Uh -huh. That. And that. Oof. Oh, you've got fun stuff. You've got horrifying stuff. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. I kind of wish those, those were things I wish I didn't see. I'm not going to lie. That's frightening. Pass turn. I will draw. We will play a Fetid Heath. Tap it for colorless. Play a Soul Ring. Okay. Anything else, boss? Nope. That's going to be it. Uh, we're going to play Urborg, Tomb of Yagma. You're welcome for all the swamps. Thank you. And play a mana crypt. Uh -huh. Man, a crypt. I will pass. Uh, okay, so untap. We've drawn a card. We will play a polluted dot. Uh, we will lose a life and sack it. And go get... I will respond. God damn you. No, you don't. Opposition I agent. Fucking son of a bitch. I need a land. That's why I'm doing it. Otherwise, I would not. Yeah, cool. What do you want? Underground sea. That's what I was going to get. <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, we did it. We, we got there. <coughs> that fucked my whole turn, so I'll pass. I'm going to search that because I'm going to be playing it on my turn. <laughs> All right. Card for turn. Not helpful considering the current state. Here, so here. I will go to Command Tower. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to play my Mox Opal. Yeah, I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. On tap, upkeep, draw. Mm -hmm. uh, planes is my land for turn. Tap Soul Ring for two for the Talisman of Hierarchy that I just topped up. Just for the fun of it, we'll tap for a white and get an early Frodo down. And uh, tap into Fetid Heath for uh, whatever the whatever the fuck combination you want. And I will uh, make him a 2-3 with lifelink. And that will be my turn. Untap. I will roll for Crypt. Oh, we'll flip a coin. Heads will be damaged. Flipping a coin. I flip Tails. And draw for the turn. Play this mystery land. I don't know where I got it. Play a Dothy Voidwalker. Uh, of course you will. We're going to swing this at the squeeze knees. And uh, pass. <laughs> All right. Untap draw. Uh, shock in Watery Grave, which I wish I had last turn. I'll uh, pass turn. Okay, cool. Underground River. That is rather helpful right now. I'm going to cast a Proteus Staff. It's the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Or a play a city of, of grass. And we will get around what you have decided to put on the board and take it back. Uh, if that's gonna go, then I will start exiling. Man tower. Exile there. 
Swift foot boots, well, like, like chrome mocks. My own Dothy Void Walker. Uh, Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Chalice of the Void. Love to see that guy. Uh, <laughs> Gollum, Patient Plotter. We'll get rid of him, too. Opposition Agent. Demonic Tutor. Can't tutor right now. Sam's Desperate Rescue. That's useless because I don't have any creatures in my graveyard, and you are putting them all there. Burning Catacombs. Don't need a lane. War of the Last Alliance. Put this in here because I wanted to. Not because it's good. <laughs> Solitude. Vault of Champions. Deadly Rollick. Hmm. Not what I was looking for, but I think I will keep it. I'll tap for two and play a Grim Monolith. So I will just swing a normal 2-3. So I will swing at you for two. Okay. Taking two. And then I'll pass. So. Next turn, I will flip. And let's see, I think I said heads is damage. Tails, yay. No damage. Draw. Play City of Traitors. Move to combat. Swinging three at... Mike, I don't think you're on Adnaz, so I guess I'm going to go with Squeeze Knees again. Two, one colorless floating cast, the Witch King of Angmar. Nice, right, on the board. By Jove, he's done it. Uh, and then I will just uh, pass the turn. Uh, I'll play a Misty. I'll tap it for black. Black, blue, red, three. Sauron. Okay, fair enough. I saw her on that one coming. <sighs> With your lidless eye, mm -hmm. wreathed in flame. That's all I got. I will pass turn. Right. Draw a card. No upkeep effects. Play a Verdant Swamp. Cabal Ritual for three mana. And then blue and doesn't matter. I will also bring out one of Sauron's minions for the Nazgul. That is all I can do. I will pass turn. Oh, uh, I will amass one from your cast. Lawn tap upkeep draw. Making making the lore. I thought that was a non-creature. I didn't read it. Holy shit! No, it's any <laughs> spell. It go, it yeah. goes it goes hard if people aren't you paying should attention. Have, uh, you should have two because of the uh, the ritual as well. Oh right, wow, yeah, yeah. that is you. that is any spell. Wow, that's crazy. Put it, put it right in your so mask. You have a tutu. Okay, so Frodo does this thing now. Cool. Rogue's passage is my land for turn. Yeah, four. Yeah, I guess you got four mana. <laughs> That's wild. I haven't seen that card in so long. Yeah, I'll tap the Grim Monolith and my Talisman for to activate the Rogue's Passage. So that way, Frodo cannot be blocked. Islane's starting to amass some orcs over there, so I'll swing two at you, Islane. I'm going to gain two. Okay, so the ring now tempts me. I have now been tempted once. Frodo will now have Skulk. He's my ring bearer. And pass the turn. Okie dokie. On tap. Upkeep. Rolling for Crypt. Heads are damage. Heads, damage. One, two, three. Draw. Yeah, move to combat. Mm -hmm. Swinging opposition agent at Mike. And the Witch King doesn't like to be bossed around, so it's going at his boss, is lane. And then I shall pass the turn. This doesn't untap. And uh, I drew and I take one <coughs> from Vault. All right, we'll play this Bloodstained Mire, aka Swamp. Swing at Mike with my 2-2 Orc army. All right, so when this deals damage, the ring's going to tempt me. So I will get a ring. Um, but it is what's going to be attacking. So yeah, I'll make it my ring bearer. As dumb as this seems, I'm going to tap these two black and get this wish claw out of my hand. Uh, and yeah, that's I've got five in hand. I will pass there. I'll keep draw card. Ancient Swamp. Tap this for it doesn't matter. Your orcs get bigger. I'm going to cast this and say it's divining top. Okay. So I'm going to spin the top. I get to do so. Mm -hmm. yep. Did the top bring your opal online now? Yeah. Let's go to combat. 4-3 uh, flying. Um, is Lane coming at you? You've got that Adnaz. Uh, I, I mean, will... at this rate, I'm not going to cast the fucking Adnaz, so. I will pass the turn. I think Do I think Dothy being gone is probably good because eventually we're gonna put something in there that he's gonna really want. You yeah. just want a wheel. We know your game. Uh, <laughs> well, I am using the powers of the Dark Lord to persuade Frodo to put the ring on so I can see him. There you go. See, uh, that's a narrative win. Well done. <laughs> uh, I like that. Uh, colorless black, black. I see you. 
claim the precious. I will t uh, targeting Dothy Voidwalker. Destroy target creature. The ring tempts you. Destroy target creature and the ring tempts you. Eh? I, I have know. a you have a, an and a cabal ritual. Yeah. Sacrifice Dothy Voidwalker so your spell will fizzle on resolution, right? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. the ring tempting me will not. I'll cast a tainted pact. Uh, swamp, not gonna stop there. Next card is a rune scar demon. I'll just put that in the hand. That seems pretty okay. <laughs> Cool, and then claim the precious fizzles and goes to my grave as well. Correct. All right, well, I guess instead that way, uh, two, three coming at you, Squeak, and I will gain two, and uh, the ring will tempt me. Just I have uh, an effect in combat. I'm going to discard Rune Scar Demon to the Witch King. I'm yep. going to discard Hoarding Broodlord to the Witch King. I'm also going to discard Ruthless Technomancer to the Witch King. Wow. Okay. Two. Awesome. Two. Black. Black. Have one colorless floating. I'm going to attempt to wake the dead, where X equals three. Uh, so wake the dead. It's uh, cast only during combat on an opponent's turn. Return X target creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Sacrifice those creatures at the beginning of the next end step. So X you targets would, would be that's, that's pretty spicy. Would be hoarding brood lord, rune scarred demon, and ruthless technomancer. Lots of value. Um, yeah, there's no way for me to stop that. So. We go ahead and do the top thing with the blue mana floating. Yep. Oh, also, I'll, I'll get a mana orc trigger. And delay. I think that was a I win situation right there. Oh, 100%. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wrath tokens are, or wraith tokens aren't too bad either, so I got a wraith. Cool. Congratulations on your wraith. That is relevant. I'll, I'm just going to tap for a black and a colorless, or two colorless, and leave me one floating. I'll cast my own Wish Clawed House, and then I will pass the turn. Or flipping coin, sorry. Uh, heads are damage. That's tails, so that's damage. Remove a counter. And draw. Two and a black. Cast Necromancy. Targeting Hoarding Broodlord. I have no response. Uh, Hoarding Broodlord enters the battlefield. Let's see, I know you still have <laughs> Deadly Rollick in hand there, Play Mike, so. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to look for a card to put into my hand. Well, you exile it face down, you don't put it in. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's the words. Those are the words that we meant. Move to battlefield, flipped. There it is. Close and shuffle. Move to combat. Uh, we're going to smack five in the air. Play Mike. Take the five. Cast this card, which is Living Death. Well, I have no creatures in my grave. Yeah, no, I don't think any of us do. It's basically a board wipe at this point. And without being able to counter it, that's fucking awful. So you're passing on it as Lane? Um, hold on, hold on. No, I can't, I just, I, we're like f completely fucked. I'll never get back into this game if I let this resolve. We're going to cast a Demonic Constitution. Yep. Uh, I will name, uh, so we're naming Fierce, so top six. Tomb, Thoracle, well, good thing, Fortune, Mystical, Ristic, one, two, three, four, five, Get Probe. These go to exile, and we start flipping. Hey! hey that's the no. best fucking that's console not. ever! Uh, yeah, so then I would like to attempt to cast a Trisk Guardianship, targeting mm -hmm. the thing. I have no response. Okay. Whew, we got there, I boys. Will. Yes, I'll just keep my. We live another turn. <laughs> Eat my brood lord and witch king and oppo and pass. On your end step, uh, I'd like to exile the simian spirit guide for red. Mm -hmm. Add an additional. I'd like to abrade the opposition agent. I have no response. Uh, move to my turn. I will take one from vault. Go to combat. I can get in at Mike, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'll take the nine. It's hurt. It hurts, but I'll take the nine. All right. Uh, lord of the rings. Anyway, I'm. Tempted, and I will discard my hand, which is right. Dismember, Adnaz, and Chandra's Ignition, which I would have just cast, but I don't have the mana for it. Uh, and I will draw four. four. We'll play Beast this effect. play the Swamp. Uh, I would like to animate dead, targeting Oppo. We're going to tap uh, and remove a counter, and Dibs. we'll give, hopefully, yeah, yeah, you can have it. You can have it. And I'll tutor. Put this in my hand. A little shuffle. Pass the turn. Um, at your end step, I would like to make a wraith and make your army bigger. So cool. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, Resculpt on Oppo. You can have a 4-4 four, four elemental. God damn it, dude. 
Now he's going to be able to tutor. Now they're both going to be able to tutor. I think we're going to lose on Squeeze turn anyway, so we'll find out now. Exile. I don't imagine a world where a Proteus staff activation is not just death. We'll find out, I guess. The Ancient Tomb for two generic and take two. I will use one of that to play a top. I'm going to use the black and the generic. I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. I will go and get a thingy. What you getting? It's going to be a card made by Wizards of the Coast for the game Magic the Gathering. It's a good game. Here's the question. Were you, were you forced to say that it's a good game? <laughs> blink, twi- <laughs> blink, blink twice if the Pinkertons are there. <laughs> my card. I would like to Proteus Staff uh, this, the Summoning Sick Wraith away. Am I good to Proteus Staff into a creature? You got yep. your Proteus Staff to Animate. Oh, by the way, this is a nice little reprint from the Precons. Pick Rift. Do, do, do. Land, land, Chromox, Seal, If Near Deadlands, Vista, Diamond Brass, Toxic. Oh, Toxic Deluge. Another reprint from the Precons. They, the Precons is a pretty good reprint, actually. Drain, for once. Necromancy, Offer. Of course, they did for, for Lord of the Rings decks, though. Do, right. do, do, do. Sacrifice. <laughs> Somewhere I mean, I saw a thing on Twitter that the uh, the one ring, uh, the the serialized one of one has been found already in Brazil oh, really? somewhere, okay. and everybody's like, fake, 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 Brazilians, oh, it's fake, they all cheat. It's like, wow. Oh, wait, where was it found? Supposed to be? In Brazil. In Brazil. Oh, boy. And it was uh, the one that had the, um, <laughs> it's not in English or whatever, like. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's I, I I like. I think there's there's entirely a chance that there's fake claims to have gotten it. I think that there's people that. Oh yeah, there's people that are gonna try. There's a two million dollar bounty on that thing. Yeah, and then there's also gonna be. Oh, do, 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 do. Um, there he is. Hey, there he is. Buddy. Good lord. Hmm. I'm go ahead and tutor for a card, and I saw it already. <laughs> Good lord, buddy. <laughs> um, I will then. Okay, so Broodlord's on the battlefield. He's tutored for his card. Or I guess tutored for the card. Um, shuffle, I don't know if anybody has any response to his ETB. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's where you could kill it and then he couldn't convoke the card. And that might be something he's banking on, but... But if he convokes the target with Saw and Half, he nukes in a response, right? So Saw and Half fizzles. Yeah, sure. Yeah. If that's what's and happening, then... I don't know. I don't know either. The That's other, the other issue is that if it's an if it's an instant speed spell from Exile, he can convoke it in response, anyways. <sighs> right. That's why he's. Yeah. So he can't do it unless he tries to cast it. Right. Mm. Oh. I would like to. Yeah. And saw in half. Saw in half. My yeah. guy. Uh, okay. That that's where you nuke the Broodlord. Yeah, and then I'm going to respond with a deadly deadly relic targeting the hoarding Broodlord. Um, I'm going to make another wraith and first guardianship. You get two four threes, by the way. That's correct. I'm just going to use this gray back as a 4-3. Oh, then let's do the thing. This will be one of the cards. That'll be the other card. Eh, I'll shuffle in a minute if I have to. I will invoke a reanimate. I see the I see the post claiming that the one of one was found in Brazil and apparently it's already been shown fake. Interesting. I hope I Yeah, it honestly depends on what he's doing if I have interaction or not. And I'm waiting to see. He reanimated the... the no, I know. I know. I know. Free tap. So I'll use one to convoke uh, Sacrifice on one of my tapped tokens that will give me eight black mana. Mm-hmm. Bigger. Yep. And make yourself another t- untapped one. An untapped guy. That's a lot of freaking weight. Mana. I'd like to go ahead and use the eight mana to do the PETA thing. You're not going to cast it with your, uh, your, brood, your guys? Do so you have a shitload of floating mana? I should have how many tapped? One, six six, tapped six and one tapped, untapped. One untapped. So yep. I should have six or five black mana available. So you'll have so you'll have six mana. Uh, Three. so funny story. Oh, go ahead. Yep. Here on the it, stack. You got it. Uh oh, deflecting spot. You got it. You got Orcish it. Orcish bowmasters. Ah, he's got something different. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that'll Why? kill you. Because each time he draws a, a peer is draw. He's going to yeah. draw half his library, and I can do that much damage. I'm going to do enough to kill you, but you're going to dr- figure out let what me, you're drawing, because I have more damage me, to spread. 
I don't know if I shuffle. Let me shuffle and do the top thing just in case. Okay. So 78, so that'd be, uh, what, uh, 39? 39, yeah. So 19 at you, I'd still have 20. Let's oh, see, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, yeah, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so that goes down to 8. Uh, clear the board of your guys' creatures. And then um, eight, 8 to Kirk's in face. In response to you targeting my Witch King, I'm going to Make it into discard a card. Fine. I just don't know which I one mean, now. The, it would be one individual thing per time, so technically I could change the rest of the damage. I was yep. just trying to be fast. So yep. if you're going to make... So, it's all your creatures? I'm, no, it's just Witch King. Okay, just so two more damage to your face instead then. Um, so oh. one would have went to him and then made it... He would have become indestructible. So uh, it was 12 damage was to clear your board, and then it was going to be 8 damage to your face, so just do 10 to your face, and Broodlord and Frodo die. I also amass orcs uh, 39. What's 39 plus 18? And it amass when it enters the battlefield too. Oh, so so it's so it's 40. It's 40. So it's 58. <laughs> and you dealt one damage from it entering the battlefield. So yeah, more damage. Oh right, yeah, one more damage. Uh, I guess I'll just ping Mike's face. So Squee dies. It's Mike's turn. <laughs> On tap, upkeep, draw. Um, I will play an arid mesa, which is actually a swamp, and I will cast Luris of the Dream Bit. And That's all good. Um, and then I will tap the one white you cast Frodo from my grave with Loris's effect. Seems good. It's another mm. witch. Yep. There you go. 60 60. Just a casual 60 60. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking oh. wild, dude. <laughs> uh, I, I hate it, though, because I'm, I'm nowhere near actually winning the game because this can be blocked all day long. And That's I'm why the Chandra's is so black, good. Taking one from the city of city of Ash to upgrade Frodo to be a two three with lifelink. Man, I really want to do more, but I kind of had to just rebuild there. I will pass. Untap, whoopee. Uh, it's gonna be heads are damage. Flip coin. I got heads, so that's damage. That's rude. One two three, and go to draw. I'm gonna cast a feed the swarm. Targeting the Bowmaster. Sad. Well, he did his job. I mean, yeah. It, um, Bowmaster's probably uh, actually more dangerous than the 6060. And it's 61 now. Let's see if we can get it. We gotta, we gotta get it 69 before the end of the, yeah. the, end of the game. Yeah. That's yeah. gotta happen. Let's just call it what it is. Whatever you do before you win. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gotta right. let that happen yeah. first. So I have a call or, 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 or if you really want to be that guy, get it to 68 and then. And then he'll owe me one. Uh, mm. Victimize. Targeting. Sporting Broodlord and I think or Ruthless Technomancer with me. That's the two I'm targeting. Sacking Witch King of Agmar, putting him in the command zone. Uh, that one's going to tutor. So this on the stack, this on the stack. Resolve this first. And that's and when he knew he fucked up. Fact. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this instead. To the uh, to the face down. I'm getting into that. I bought colorless floating. Sack this for eight treasures. Or is it seven no, treasures? where's power? my necromancy for free? Yeah, it's equal to its power. So that's seven treasures. Uh, I will sack six treasures and use the colorless I have floating, leaving one treasure behind to cast Peer in the Abyss, targeting myself. I have 82 cards in my library, so I will draw 41 and lose eight life, nine life. So I'll go to uh, go to eight. Okay, so cast a dark ritual. Yep, sure. Is Lane, you're obligated to stop counting once you hit 69. <laughs> Cast a Jeweled Lotus, Throne Mock, Cast, uh, Culling the Weak, Sacking Ruthless Technomancer to get four black. Up to 65. Cast Scourge Familiar. There we go. Discard Micaeus for a black mana. Mm -hmm. uh, discard a Swamp for a black mana. Anime Dead targeting Micaeus. Okay. Cool. Uh, discard Triskillion for a black mana. Discard mm -hmm. if near deadlands for a black mana. Got to cast. 69. We did it. Pers cast persist targeting Triskillian. That would we be 70, it. but yeah, it. you win. Nope, it's 69. Let's just keep it to 69. Yeah. Never, never bring no, it up. That's fine. You, uh, you, uh, you win. Murder, death, kill everybody. Yeah. 